Hello, I'm Bromok, and welcome to my Red Power 2 series. LRM just released her update of Red Power 2 for Minecraft 1.2.3. Frames is not in yet, but the focus of this series is frames. While frames are still, still getting ready, I need to collect a lot of material. I'll not concentrate on sharing too much of vanilla Minecraft, but will instead focus on Red Power 2 builds. Now, I've just installed the updates and mods, got their brand new world that I'm about to create, and let's see where we go. Uh, ding, typos. Let's see. Oh, what can I see? What seed? Frames or bust. And see what this gets. Okay. Uh, sheep. I don't need sheep. Well, I don't need that much sheep anyway. Got some Tegra over there. Possibly some. Ah, uh, that's a forest, not a jungle. So, but as you see, I've got a uh, raised mini map. I tend to get lost, so it's useful there. The other uh, mods that I'm running are Quick Guide, Inventory Tweaks, and Computer Craft. And I spent the last week writing a program for a turtle to do my strip mining for me. Uh, it's a boring process anyway, so until we get the frames and have the really large queries, I think I can kind of get away with it. I'll Later I'll go through and explain how the the basis of what that program is going, but I'll be concentrating more on Red Power stuff anyway, so... But... I kind of have an idea of what I need to start out with, so I will... Um, get myself situated and be back when it's there. Okay, I'm back. So, turns out there was a little uh, beginning of a cave system, so I decided to build my house on top of it. And then started a wheat farm growing. This is a flax farm. The flax is... Use, you get that to get the s string so you can make wool out of it, but I'm pretty good on war wool with all of the sheepies all around me. But and I started a little orchard over here, a little bit closer. I like the glass hall around, around so I can see any creepers or anything coming my way in the mornings. So that's outside. I have my wheat farm growing. I've used some of it. Went over there, grabbed some... Uh, killed some piggies and... Uh, was it that way? Yeah, that way. That way is... There's some pigs. I killed some, breed some free range right now. Um, so I got some bread. Very little bread and very little pork chop at the moment. I'm planning to go down into the cave system because I need iron, redstone, diamonds because I want to get my turtle from computer craft so I can start strip mining while I work on the farms. And right here is uh, copper. It's, this is part of the Red Power 2 stuff need an iron 
pickaxe to uh, harvest it. It's used for uh, combining it with tin to make the brass agates to make th your uh, th the mnemonic tubes. So I was waiting until I was back recording to get the stuff that's in my little base here. There's also some tin, a little further down, that coming this way. But there, I heard some monsters around, banging at my door. I'm playing on uh, normal difficulty, not hard, uh, otherwise the zombies would have broken right through that door. And somewhere around here should be that ten. Right here is marble, something also awesome new for Red Power 2. Um, you just can build with it. I'm sure there's a plan for it. Ooh, ow. Went too far down. Um, careful not to get lost. But I did see some tin around here, just to try to show you what it looks like. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Zombie. Ah, there's a tin. So, oops. tin ore, iron ore, copper ore. Need the iron to more tin. That's more tin. Alright. So, I'm going to go explore this cave system. Be back. Uh, if there's anything interesting, like I ran into Nick Light or any other red power stuff, or I get my first th diamonds. I need three of them. Alright, talk to you later. Okay. Here's some emeralds. This is also part of red power right now. They don't do much, but you can create tools from them. That is as efficient as diamond, but they do not last as long. Um, LRM is probably planning to use it for lasers and sensors, some s kind of system in that. So, um, I don't think these will work with the computer craft to make the mining turtle. Um, so, I'm not going to even... Well, I'll try. Uh, if Once I collect enough, but I'll... Still targeting diamonds for, for this one. And you need... Iron. Oh, I think. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go back up. I'll craft a uh, a pickaxe out of the emerald. All right, talk to you later. Okay, back in my lair. Making an emerald pickaxe. Uh, Mr. Zombie. I while I'm here, I may as well. I get one more. I may as well make a emerald shovel. Be a little more efficient. All right. Talk to you later. Okay. Now we now have nickelite. This is the stuff required for the blutricity system in Red Power. Um, it, it's just like redstone dust, except it's kind of a uh, teal. And... Alright. You need a lot of this. So you see it, you grab it. Hmm, there is a lot of it. Okay. Alright. Talk to you later. 
So this is full grown, full grown f flax, and you take off the top, and you get some string and some flax seeds. So that's about it. Oh, uh, and a little update. I died with a whole thing of loot because a spider threw me into lava. Bad spider. Bad. So, I'm up here regathering supplies and going heading back down. Luckily, did not ha have diamond on me, because once I find the diamond, I'm coming back up and uh, start a strip mine somewhere. Alright, talk to you later. After much dying, finally got some diamonds. Yay. Um, I was too scared to actually be on camera for it. That was dealing with monsters all over the place. I, so, anyway, I'll show you how to create a mining turtle. You do need a diamond pickaxe. But first of all, you need to do a computer which is seven smooth stone, one glass, one redstone. Uh, maybe not. I thought I knew this. Um... Glass pane. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. So now the smooth stone. There's a computer. Put that in the center. Then chest on bottom. Surround with iron agates. Now we get a turtle. Put the turtle there. Diamond axe there. Now we get a mining turtle. So, I sp spent the better part of this week on... oops. Uh, writing a program that will go down, strip mine, follow ores, come back when it's full, ignore cobblestone and dirt and gravel, um, it's probably going to pick up a lot of marble, because I was, I des was designing it f without uh, any of redstone in mind. So we'll see how it goes. Um, well, you know, it's pretty simple. And sure, I have to actually tell it what to ignore by putting into these four inventory slots here. This is its cargo bay, but it's also it's how it compares things. Dirt and gravel. All right, I want to go to it uh, down to level ten to explore. So I'm at level fifty nine. So branch and depth, relative depth. And now, see, it's collecting. Um, soon the screen will go away, like now, if you go out, get out of range. And it's doing work. I will go in detail on how the uh, program works on the next episode as time is running out. I will talk to you later. See you in episode two.